Hello everybody, welcome to Indigo Terra Odyssey and a huge, huge congratulations to this beautiful soul right here on the left in getting her PhD. Congratulations, Ezra. I just got uh, a message from her with the pictures and you guys talk about Oracle and Tarot cards never getting it wrong and just hitting it out of the park. When we see the Weaver's Fate, Manifestation, and Decisions, in the middle we have the Crone Fairy, Godmother, Wisdom, Future, and Truth, and then Portal, Change, Gateway, and New Beginnings. It reminds me of this whole story of Azra and myself. She was my absolute first client. I think it was the first person. There was a, a girl from Norway first to order a read. But as Ezra and I began a discussion, she asked me, you know, do you provide a kind of life coaching and like where I can visualize things? And, you know, I feel like a lot of people that set a very high bar for themselves, it's it's hard to find that footing, that first footing and kind of equate what proper success is without getting stuck in the trappings of the world, the materialism and all of that. So, you know, long story short, she became my first client for years and years and years now and um, just a total beautiful soul. And I just wanted to dedicate this video to you and say congratulations and what an absolute, you know, stellar journey. And it reminds me of this, like, what is our fate? What do we want our fate to be? When I was with my friend Jeannie the other day, she said, Mel, I'm so proud of you that like, you stopped like busting your bones for other companies and, and running yourself thin to make sure that they had everything they needed and they required for, you know, very little thank you and not a lot of money and not a lot of reward. And then just waking up to the aspect of your gifts and talents aren't just resources you give away. That should be part of your true vocation. And I did recognize that when I realized that other people were doing this you know, on YouTube and I wasn't in that whole culture and world. And once I realized it existed, I was like, that is the format, that is the layout. And this reminds me of Ezra and our journey too, because whenever we enter into a big spectrum of universities and thinkings, there's all kinds of complications. There can be great expense. There can be people that are very extraordinarily helpful and people that aren't. And there's all these trials and tribulations and knowledge and expansion and she pushed through absolutely everything, every obstacle to get to where she is today to graduation. So, you know, it, and I, I have so much admiration for people that their brain, you know, people's brains who overthink, they're absolutely, they have all this brilliance bouncing around, but it's hard to capture it and create a format for life without thinking that you're less than, especially when you have very high hopes and dreams for yourself. But all we have to realize when we tap into this wisdom, future, and truth is more is happening in the future. Everything is not supposed to be here right at this precise moment. It's waiting for us, right? We're manifesting it, but we do need to tap into that high vibrational energy that knows it exists for us, that knows it's there, that we truly believe we're worthy, capable, and we're honoring this path. And sometimes it takes diversion. Sometimes, you know, we have a crazy relationship here and there. Sometimes we have somebody that's utterly supportive or unsupportive and we kind of get um, our deck shuffled a little bit and things get a little disarray but the reason that we can recorrect and change and have these new beginnings and feel like okay sometimes we hit a fault line but all we have to do is say this is just a moment I'm not going to get blue I'm not going to get um, and it's so funny that I said that because I'm not I'm not even kidding that this was the next card. And this blue card talks of feeling isolated and, and needing help. And sometimes we do need that. We have to offer and provide ourselves with the freedom of choice, not the restrictions that our parents, society, university, or anybody puts forth for us. We are absolutely free to make our choices and walk through this portal and have newness every day. Every day that we wake up, it doesn't matter if we're not you know, going full tilt boogie and, per, you know, producing and producing. Sometimes that silence reigning in the peace of self and just sitting and being is so beautiful. Just not worrying about anything. Getting that mind body balance in again. I saw this thing this morning and I loved it. It was like affirmations for ourselves. you know, that we can't control other people, but we can control our reactions. We don't have to get involved and head up. You know, it is so healthy to have our own ideas, our own feelings, our own interests, our own goals and values. And that is the weaver. We weave. What do we want to pull forth? What do we want to bring into our life? What, what magic do we want to create? And we have to do what's right for ourselves. It's not selfish. It is just, 
you know, it is protection, it is boundaries, is all of that because you deserve the same kindness and generosity that you give to others. Everybody out there, we are not powerless. You know, we can still say no and, you know, be a kind person. And we're no longer going to make ourselves small to fit into social situations. Um, Jeannie made me laugh when she was describing me to Carl. She's like, you know, guys are interested in Melanie and they really like her and stuff, but thank goodness she met Ian because there's much muchness to that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, there's lots of personality. There's lots of um, zhuzh. There's lots of, you know, I sometimes I look at my life and I'm really lucky because I have a lot of Peter Pan aspects to me where I do want to just create and fly and have fun and be, be young and, and see all the beauty and the magic in there. But there is also people in the world that really are steadfast in their adultness you know they they can do all the bureaucratic stuff i would be and i promise you this i would not be the same person if i had to sit down and figure out taxes and bills and and just be with numbers all day it would like suppress something in me i think it would like it, like a big fly swatter to my spirit like smack i do not like any of those things and i find them uh just i find them like icky you know i just find them boring and and whenever i see in a movie it is the weirdest thing and comment down below if you feel this you'll see somebody doing something and they're lively they're dancing with their kids and then they sit down at their desk and they put on their glasses as one does and they start going through bills and then they have these piles of papers and stuff i i never have to deal with that i can earn money i can manifest money i can work for it but i don't want to distribute it out into the world to this and that and the other you know and everything is done electronically for ian but it's one of those things where i feel like i manifested this life because i always knew it was going to be fun and creative and in the world of philosophy and psychology and delving into the human mind and how we can you know make reparations to ourselves too, like our inner child and say, you know, I'm sorry I did that to you. I'm sorry that I made you take the world so seriously and think you had to have this job, this degree right away or you weren't successful. So now is the time, you know, where the crone comes in and says, true wisdom is understanding what we really want, what we believe in and only going for that, not being derailed by somebody else, not feeling less than for any reason, looking towards our future with the truth is this truly for me or is it the power of suggestion from a family member or somebody else? What do we really want? And if we're not there, we step right through this portal. Today is a new day and I'm going to work on me and where I want to go and how I want to exist in the world. I want to have fun. I want to feel youthful. I want to attract young, fun, vibrant people. You know, I want silliness. I want laughter. I want poetry. I want love. I want creativity. All of those things, right? And no more ignoring your own boundaries to please other people and believing in ourselves and our self-worth. And it doesn't belong in the realm of productivity. It's just who we are at our essence. And that is sort of the gateway that so much of us so many of us are walking through and saying, you know, this is the change I desire. I want calm. I want stability. I want peace of mind. And I don't want the wrong kind of infectious energy, you know, that says believe in the worst about the world and people. I want to believe the best. And I'm going to look for that. And whatever we're looking for is the thing that shows up. So we are going to let whatever feelings come in and we're going to take the self-assured time to process them and say, hmm, is this person, place, or thing really for me? And when we feel good and high vibrational, then the answer is definitely yes. So my beauties, that is what you're meant to hear today. Congratulations, Ezra Azif. You are an absolute star. And, you know, I feel like your story and your journey, I hope one day you write a book on all of the obstacles and all of the fabulous things that came into into your life to get you where you are today. Because sometimes we forget when we're standing there with this degree in our hand that, wow, I put some massive effort and work into this and I'm going to do this big victory lap and celebrate myself. But also I can show others that when you think you're at a stop sign, it's really just in your mind a, a hard stop. It's going to turn green again any moment and then you're free to go in any direction you want and be anything that you want. But we do need to learn patience in, you know, the job finding process, the um, new friendship circle process, whatever it is, you know, delight in the little, the little measured steps that get us there. It doesn't have to be the end game. It's those beautiful measured steps. So love and light, everybody. Have a great day.